Hey everybody, it's Carmel here. Welcome to my channel. I have a project share today that's part of Saturday Morning Makes, which is hosted by the wonderful Gillian Norwood. If you're not familiar with Saturday Morning Makes, I will put a link to Jill's channel in the description below. You can check out, you can find out lots more about Saturday Morning Makes over there. So if you type in the hashtag SatMorningMakes in the YouTube search bar, we'll see all the latest videos that have been uploaded by participants and it's a great place to start if you've maybe lost your crafty mojo or you're looking for some inspiration because you'll find all kinds of amazing crafters over there on Jill's channel. So do check it out. So for my first project, I have this bunny tag here and I have to say I'm not much of a shabby crafter. I love to watch videos and see all the gorgeous creations that other crafters come up with. It's just not a look I go for in my own craft room for the most part. It's usually the cute animals take over for me and nothing else gets done. But I did go shabby, a little bit shabby for this one because um, it's my first Saturday morning makes and I know Jill loves her shabby. So this one is a little bit in her honour. Hi Jill, by the way, if you're watching, I hope you like this one. So to make this tag, I used a nesting tag die set that I had in my stash and I used some foam to just give it a bit of dimension. The paper here, this this uh, vintage paper is came with a craft magazine that I, I, I um that I bought a while ago. So I was happy to use that up. I added a dangle here and I used a frosted leaf charm here and a butterfly charm. And then I made some beaded flowers to add to it. And then I added some flower cabochons here. I added some pretty trims here that I had in my stash. I love rickrack. I use rickrack a lot in my in my crafting. So I'll just show you the dies I used very quickly. If the dies are by Marianne Designs, it's from the Aline's Collectibles, and this is these are the the bunny ones. Super cute. You get you can create all different looks: balloons, a hot air balloon, or a little cart here, or the teacup. Um, the teacup. I love the teacup one. So I use the teacup one for this project. I did show um the dog die set in, in these dies in a recent video I made some dog themed projects so if you want to see the dogs you could check out that video if you like. So I cut her out in velour paper just to give her a bit of a velveteen rabbit look I'm sure it's not turning out on too well on camera you can't see but it is very um it, it's it's kind of fuzzy it's really it's super cute I think it works really nicely for this project and I just added some pink uh, pa soft pastel pencil on her nose and her ears and a, a bow cabochon to finish it off. I laminated the cup here using my laminating hack that I posted recently on my channel and I just wanted to give it a look of a kind of a, a china tea set look. So that's my first project and it's super cute. I, I love how she turned out. So my next project is also a, an ode to Jill because I know she does love her gingies. I don't know who has enabled me or should I say inspired me more when it comes to gingies either Jill or Jen who's strawberry cream but all I know is that I have an out of control gingy addiction now thanks to you guys so um I hope you like this project I cut it on the on a nesting die set a scalloped die set that I have in my stash and I used a little scallop circle die cut here just to make her pop off the brown cardstock a little bit and the the gingy herself was cut using a die set from DIY Art Bin on Ali. I added a sticker to the bowl here and I added some used some white glitter cardstock just to give her a little frosting. Her hat was cut using Doodlebug paper. This sprinkle kindness sticker is also from Doodlebug. I love to make baking themed projects and I, I find it this collection came out from you from Doodlebug last year and I find it very hard now to make a baking theme project that Doodlebug doesn't make its way into in, in some way or another. But uh, that's where that sticker came from. Then I added, I just added some um, clay sprinkles and some a little donut cabochon here and some other uh, enamel stickers here. And then finally, I added uh, a charm dangle here, another little piece of Doodlebug and some Haishi beads and a yellow bead and a bum bum. I added a straw and some pom-poms to the top and I added some more because I do like to hang things in in my craft room. I've noticed as well uh, since I started making videos um because I'm 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 really new to all of this and how just how differently things look on camera. This sticker is almost identical in color to the straw. I, I I deliberately made it that way but on camera the sticker looks like it's red, you know, it looks like a completely different color. So 
it's weird that's just one of those weird things that you i think you have to learn as you go and as i said i'm brand new to this youtube thing so i'm sure i'll get used to it and get better I did back this one onto some pretty thick foam because I wanted to give it the look of a, a s'more. I thought that would be a fun look. I lived in the States way back in the 90s and one of my favourite, favourite foods while I was there was um, graham crackers or graham crackers as you call them over there. I love them and I, I ate them for <laughs> I ate them for the country. <laughs> when I lived there, I didn't even make s'mores most of the time. I just love the crackers and we can't get anything like that here. We have lots of crackers and cookies and that kind of thing but nothing like the, the graham crackers. So I miss them. So this is a little tribute to those. So that's my project share for today, guys. If you like this video, thank you so much for watching. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, I would also very much appreciate it. I hope you check out Jillian's channel and get involved in Satin Morn Makes. And I will chat to you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye bye.